Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings Tumblers here, and I apologize for my voice. I've been a little bit under the weather, but I did want to go ahead and get this out to you guys. So I'm starting off today with a 20 ounce skinny straight from Craft Haven, which y'all know these skinny straights are my favorites to wrap. And it seems like I'm drawn to the 20 ounces lately for some reason. So I've actually already laid the vinyl down on this cup and now I'm just trimming off the excess. I will refer you guys to other videos that I've done and tutorials that show you how I vinyl wrap my cups. And I've laid the tape down on the seam. I've trimmed off the excess here and now I'm gonna remove my tape. And then I'm gonna go in and trim off the excess vinyl from the top and the bottom. Um, I will link other videos where I've done vinyl wraps in the description box below, as well as this vinyl. Y'all, I've had this vinyl, and it was like, I loved it, and I was not sure what I was going to use it for. I just kind of let it sit and trying to come up with the perfect thing because I loved it so much. And when I got these foils in that I'm going to place on here, I knew that's what I wanted to do. They were like the perfect match. So this vinyl is from the Vinyl Cottage, and I believe it's listed under Animal Print 14. I will link it in the description box below as well as a discount code that I have for the vinyl cottage so y'all make sure to check that out so here I'm just gonna pull the excess around around the bottom you can see I'm pressing down with my other hand as the vinyl wraps around the bottom of the cup to make sure that there's no creases in that area before I go in and trim off the excess with my craft knife and I'm gonna trim this outside the rim a little bit um, and then I just go back in with you can use your uh, tool where you apply your transfer tape you can use a credit card whatever I use my fingernail just to press that vinyl down after I lift off the extra so you see I'm just gonna kind of go back in and press that down to make sure it's really smooth before I'm gonna go in and add some epoxy and then once I've got my vinyl placed on my cup, I am going to go in with about 20 milliliters of Kellner Cultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. Um, I just want to do a thin coat on here because I am going to place the foils over them and I didn't want it to be directly onto the vinyl. I wanted to have a layer of epoxy in between the vinyl and my foils that I'm going to add. So I'm going to apply this. I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles and I've let that coat dry for about eight hours before I'm going to go in and add this foil adhesive. And if you've seen me lay these foils down, I have used the spray adhesive. This time I'm actually using one that I can paint on here with my paintbrush. And I'm just using a paintbrush to paint a certain area. I wanted to lay these down, like I wanted to lay them down more as a sheet on half the cup. A lot of times I'll do them as a distressed where I kind of apply them, pull them off, apply them, pull them off where they looked, you know, a little bit more distressed. But this time I actually want kind of the full sheet of the vinyl to lay on half of the cup. And this is a full adhesive that's an artistic painting studio. And you can get this from Southern Bell Glitter. When you purchase the foils, I believe you get one ounce if you purchase five foils and then two ounces when you purchase nine foils. So I will link all that in the description box below as well. Um, this is a really good adhesive I found when you want the whole sheet to come off versus where when I use the spray adhesive, it tends to come off in sections. So when I'm going for the distress look, that works really well. But when, here I want to lay the full sheet down on. So you can see I've kind of, so I've painted this and I do let this sit for about 30 minutes before I lay it in. It's going to stay tacky, but if you put it on there right after you paint it on, it's not going to stick in areas that are still kind of damp. I have found out, or that's at least my experience with it. So you can see even here I'm going back and I'm kind of taking my paintbrush after it's starting to dry a little bit and I'm just brushing it. I'm kind of smoothing it out because any of the areas, you know, like anything you paint on, there'll be like areas that aren't as smooth as others where the where whatever you're painting it tends to kind of pull up in a little area. And those areas have a tendency with these foils I found, or my experience, is that it doesn't come off as easy. So I really wanna make sure that this is dry and it's as smoothed out as possible, where there's not areas that are seem to be wetter than other areas. So you can kind of see that I go back in, but over the, this does go over about the course of probably 30 minutes, I let it dry. So it still does stay tacky. And I just cut a piece of the foils here. This is the groovy, a uh, kaleidoscope I believe <laughs> I will link it as well from Southern Bell glitter and I really wanted this half of the cup to look just like this sheet of foil and then I'm gonna take some extra and I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of distress it around the cup so I didn't want it to just be like a straight line as if you're doing a split cup I wanted it to be there and then you can see here I'm going in with another little sheet and I'm just kind of placing it in little sections so you can see I don't want the whole piece of, of foil to come off here I just want little sections of it so I want to kind of look like it's breaking up almost is kind of what my thought was as it's going around the cup 
So I kind of add some in here, and then once I pull the other big sheet of foil off, because I'm just kind of letting it dry a little bit. So you see, I put it on there, and I'm just kind of leaving it as I'm working on these other places. Um, but so that was my thought, is I thought, let me just see if I can look like it's kind of breaking up as it's moving around the cup. So here I've, now I'm pulling this off, this sheet. And so there's still gonna be a few little places that I did not get it to stick where the foil adhesive was a little bit thicker than other places. But what I love about these sheets is, is that you can go back in there and touch it up. So if it doesn't come off on the sheet and it stays on the backing here, I just take those little areas and press it back down. And then you're gonna see me go in with another sheet that trying to kind of mimic the same colors. So you can see there, it didn't wanna stick on certain places, but I'm gonna take this same sheet and those little places that it didn't come off on, I'm gonna to try to color match those. So where there was yellow, I go back in with yellow. Where there was blue, I go back in there with yellow. I mean with blue. So you can add more of this full adhesive and just let it dry a little bit to the areas that it did not cover and just go back in and touch them up. And I tried to do the colors as much as I could as close to the ones that, so you can see it pretty much now looks like the sheet as it was. So I've just gone back and touched up those little areas that were white that didn't really get good coverage. And then I'm gonna go back in and touch up the sides after I get that touched up. I'm just gonna go back in and you can see here, I'm just adding a little bit more to the side just to kind of break it up and like, get it to blend into the flow of the cup as it goes around. And then you're gonna see on the other side, I'm gonna go back in with more full adhesive. So if there's areas that don't get covered up like you want them to, you can see there's a little area at the top here. I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more of the full adhesive. And then I'm gonna paint this little area right down here because it actually dried pretty much before I even wanted to start working on that. So I thought on this side, let me just use the paint. I mean, the full adhesive paint here, I'm calling it paint, but you know what I'm saying, the adhesive here. And I'm just gonna go back in and all the little areas I think I'm need touched up. And you can see, I don't have very much on my brush here. It does not take very much of this. I just try to spread it out as thin as possible. And then you can see these sheets, I've used them and that's what I want. I want them to have the, like the distressed areas. So I'm just gonna kind of work my way down this side. And then I'll, after I kind of get a little bit of the distressed, then I just keep kind of working array around just a little bit at a time where it just kind of pulls that design around into the cup. So I apologize y'all, I know it's a lot of talking, but I really wanted to try the best I could to explain to y'all just kind of how my thought process is as I'm doing this. So hopefully that helps, you know, sometimes to, I try to put my thoughts into words, which I know y'all know can be hard for me a lot of times, but just kind of, you know, like it, as you're working on your own designs, like just thinking through how my brain thinks about things and what my goal of what I was doing, instead of just like showing you guys, just trying to maybe explain the thoughts that go into why I do some of the things that I do. So hopefully that helps. And so now you can see that this is how it looks. I love these groovy foils, y'all. If you do not have these, there are so many things I have thought about doing with these. I just love everything about it. It is just, I, maybe it's just getting into the winter and the Christmas spirit, but I just like still loving the bright colors. Like I'm still trying to hold on to summer. Um, but anyway, so I let that dry and then I do go back in. You can see I have a spray adhesive here and y'all, this is just like a spray adhesive I got at Hobby Lobby. It's actually for foils, but I wanted to go back in and just add just a little bit kind of around the cup that I didn't want to actually paint areas. I just wanted it to be a little bit more sporadic, like literally just a few little pieces to kind of blend everything in together. So I did use the spray adhesive for that because I do find that the spray works good if you're just trying to add little areas and I'm impatient and you don't have to wait as long on the spray to dry as you do the actual brush on. So I let that dry. I only let that dry for about 45 minutes really and it was probably dry before then before I'm going to go into my next layer of epoxy. And here I'm going to add again on these uh, 20 skinny straights I use about 25 milliliters of countercultures medium viscosity artist resin. So I'm going to apply this and then I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles and then I'm going to let this coat dry for about six to eight hours because I am gonna go in and add my decal next. And then I also did add the fulls to the bottom of the cup. So I have found that it's like such a fun little way to finish off the bottom of your cup instead of adding vinyl is adding these fulls to the bottom. And then I did purchase this file on Etsy. It's just, she has fire in her soul and grace in her heart. 
and I knew that I wanted to use the rainbow mist vinyl from the vinyl cottage to go with this as soon as Cindy from Southern Bell Glitter showed me these groovy foils I knew that I had to do a cup where I used these two in combination I really look for any excuse I can to use this rainbow mist vinyl I'm just so obsessed with it I probably would use it on every cup like I really wish they would come out with it in lots of different color waves because you would definitely see it I just love the ombre effect of it so I knew it was gonna be perfect with these foils and uh and i hated to kind of cover up as much of the cowhide I, as i did so y'all need to go get this vinyl from the vinyl cottage and make like some amazing creations and share them with me so i can keep looking at this cowhide because i think i'm going to have to use it on a different cup because it has so many of the bright colors in it that i definitely want to use it where it's featured more but these foils just started working and i just couldn't stop with them so and then i found this decal and i really liked it because it was vertically you know where the words were on top of each other so it was going to kind of fit down the side of the cup perfectly so i created an offset Set of this and I'm just laying them on one on top of the other um, and I use just a basic white oracle on the back and then put the rainbow mist on top of it to kind of set it off and then I'm just gonna place that right in the center of where that open area with the cowhide is between the two areas of the foils and then once I get that on there and remove my transfer tape, I'm going to go into my next layer of epoxy. I do apply two coats of epoxy here. I'm still using Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. And I apply one coat and use my torch to pop any bubbles. And then I'm going to wait about four hours. And then I'm going to go in and apply my second coat. And in, before I actually lay my decals, I did go in and sand the bottom just a little bit. It didn't take very much because there really wasn't that much on this cup. Just the vinyl and I had laid it down pretty smoothly around the bottom and then on the top I did sand the rim um, just a little rim around the rim at the top rim around the top of the cup um, so my epoxy would adhere to the cup so and um, basically I'm gonna apply these coats and I'm gonna let them dry and then we're gonna have our final design so today mainly I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to apply these foils and I wanted to do them with the brush on adhesive so you guys could see that and feel confident that you basically could wrap a whole cup in these foils. When Cindy from Southern Bell Glitter showed me these, I have fallen in love with them and I found there's so many uses for them, I just cannot get enough. So I want you guys to feel comfortable and confident to go out and get these foils, try them yourself. You can just do so much dimension in a cup with them. And y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun crazy stuff. Everything I use today will be listed in the description box so make sure you check out those links thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see y'all again soon